Oh, we're talking about their uh, 23 extended and their 221 extended, met you at half court with it. You don't see that a lot in high school. Were y'all prepared for it? Were you were prepared for it? You saw it. I mean, talk about the film study, building up to that, and then your response to it in the game. Uh, we we had watched quite a bit of film. Uh, didn't want to do too much of uh, what they call it, over analysis, at least paralysis. Uh, want to make sure we did us. We um, knew what to do, just a matter of executing. I think in the first half we missed a lot of layups, uh, we playing a little bit too fast, but the, the moment's a little different here. And uh, I think just the, the biggest advantage is having been there before. Guys actually have played, and you can see a little bit in those guys when they got a little tight. And I, I, I know that feeling. It, it looked like us a little bit last year at times. And when it happens, nothing you can do. We, 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 we scouted, we studied, we knew what they were going to do. We just had to execute better just for us finishing, uh, which I think we did in the second half at the rep. Talk about the summer preparing to get the lead up to this season, Coach. Uh, just just the preparation of the young men. And we try to make sure that uh, we help them when they need, need help. But a lot of times, let them go through the process and kind of figure things out uh, and give them leeway to figure it out. Meaning, you know, the, the, the things that are good, the things that are not so good. Summertime being what it is and not focus on the record. Just making sure they're doing uh, championship things, uh, championship habits, uh, being around each other, guys uh, having not having a ride to practices, and guys leaving to go pick guys up, guys paying for Ubers for guys to come to practice. Those are the things that, that, that make teams uh, 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 great. And we talk about them being more brothers than teammates, and, and they've been doing that since the summertime, so we'd be more than proud of them. Talk about how battle-tested you guys are. You've had a lot of big games this high school season and various showcase events. Um, again, you know, against really, really good teams that maybe you don't see in, in PG County public school basketball or MPSA basketball. Uh, you know, we, we used to back before they came to raising all our kids. Uh, I've been coaching 30 years, like you say. You didn't used to be that way. Now uh, we have to go out and see competition. We schedule South Lakes, uh, play St. John's, people that played in their state championship uh, tournaments. Uh, the county itself prepares you for this type of, type of setting. Uh, we play City College from Baltimore. Uh, scrimmage sit well, uh, scrimmage play Jackson Reed preseason, Gonzaga preseason, Bishop Ireton, go, list goes on and on and on, Shabak, all these other different teams, and it was just to get us ready for this moment, but also, is your mom? Okay, she's not telling her to call you back, but just things like that, like I say, you know, those are things we do, we've always done it uh, this year, we just wanted to make sure that we're ready, Mark, and uh, thanks to you as well and all the other events you guys run, uh, can't forget about the Governor's Challenge, Marcus and, and you guys, they, they helped us out a lot, playing on the bigger floor, playing last year's state champion, Hayfield, so the list goes on, I'm missing maybe six or seven teams, we played a lot of good teams. Uh, for Cam, uh, if you don't mind moving the mic over as well. Excuse me. Can I, can I ask you a similar question after the semifinal, but you know, about a year ago, you were, you were walking out of this place pretty sad. Today, you have this special moment, your whole team together, you guys win in a championship. Just describe this moment, what this means to you, what this feels like. I mean, ever since last year, like we were in the same area in this same time frame, and we didn't have a smile on our face. So the whole summer, the whole preseason, that was just our goal. Like. We gotta get back here and win, and that's what we did. We handled business. We trusted each other. It wasn't always smooth. It's been times where we not always on the same page, but when it came down to it, we are the last team standing. So at the end of the day, we the state champs. And, and coach, for you, um, you know, a lot of the times when you see a team winning a championship, everybody jumping up and down crazy for the last three minutes, two minutes, a minute of the game. It seemed like all your guys, everybody was hugging each other. It seemed like there's so much love with this team. I mean, what what is it about this group? specifically and the relationship you guys all have with each other? Uh, just being around, uh, I've been knowing JR since he was nine years old. Uh, him and Cam, they've been buddies. And that's the thing about being in a public school, it's more organic. Uh, Jalen, his cousins, they played uh, Boys and Girls Club with Cam since he was maybe, what, nine, 10 years old. Uh, my wife, his, his mom went to, went to Largo. His mom and dad went to Largo. I taught his mom and dad. Uh, <laughs> they all his family members have been there. Well, we had another six or seven uh, kids that on the, that on the team who parents are part of the community. And uh, you don't get that as much nowadays. Kids are moving and going all over the place. So the love is just organic because they hang out uh, after school. They, they go to games together. We took them to the library one day. We actually walked a mile and a half to the library. It was the goofiest thing you ever seen in my life. But again, just, you know, they, they, they enjoyed the moment and you wanted to be able to have those moments. So they, they, that's, I think that's the, just the emotion that they were going through because, like I say, they, they really enjoy each other. You know, you have a lot of guys that come in one year here and there. They've been there. They've been through the process, and, 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 and we wanted to just be a good, a good experience. I'm just excited for these guys. Cam, Cam, in this day and age, you see so many players that kind of have accolades similar to yours jump to the private school sector, jump to some of these big national schools. 
and obviously the dynamic with you is a little bit different because your dad's the coach and your mom's the athletic director. But talk about your decision to stay at home, stay with the guys you grew up with, as your dad just mentioned, and now win a state championship. I mean, it was all for this one. I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to see how I could be like a community builder as far as like within Largo. I mean, no one as far as like my caliber has ever just stayed at a public school rather than go play for like the WCC schools or the prep schools. I decided to stay home and it worked out in the end. So, I mean, I got everything that I wanted to achieve from public school. So, and it's, and it's really all because of these guys right here. Like, I know it's gonna be like, oh, well, he gets all the cameras, he gets that. But at the end of the day, these guys are the ones that push me every day in practice. The ones that they say, well, it's just Cam and Mar. It's really not. Like these guys have made big shots, big time plays, and that's why we're in the position we are today, and that's why I'm the player that I am today because of these guys right here.